OK, let's send some Morse code messages. Um, this is probably the most well-known message of the lot. And it's simply one, two, three dots, and then a space, three dashes, and a space, three dots. So that letter is the same as that letter. It's a letter S. If you have a look on your Morse code sheet, a letter S, and that's a letter O, and that's another letter S. So if we bring in our little Morse code bleeper and then try it, so I'll just hold it still while we do it. Hold it still like that. So we've got dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. And that message there would be three letters, S, O, S. And I think most of us know that that one is a very famous one in connection with a ship called the Titanic. And the SOS message was sent by a radio set to try and rescue, uh, to try and get another ship to come and rescue the folks uh, on the Titanic. Well, let's try some um, an explanation of that then. Let's go for the Morse code sheet. And then what we'll do is we'll try and compose a message. And then we'll look at sending and receiving messages. So there's our Morse code sheet there. Let's look at the very first letter on the Morse code, code sheet, letter A. So let's jot that one down. Here's letter A. Dot dash. So there it is. And in Morse code, that would appear as uh, uh, the bleeps as follows. So a short bleep and a long bleep. Short and long. First letter of the alphabet, letter A. So that's letter A, but what if we did this? That's the two uh, bleep sounds reversed. So that would sound like this. Short, long. Well, if we look down our Morse code sheet now, we'll find it can't be letter A. It's got to be a different letter, a dash and a dot, a dash and a dot. There it is, letter N. So we've got a letter N. Well, let's try and make a simple word, A, N, why not? Let's look for D, letter D. Let's look down the list, A, B, C, D, dash, dot, dot. And now let's send that letter D. Different from those previous two characters. So that whole message, or word in a message, would read as follows. A first, N, D. And once you get used to it, you can send those letters really quickly. So let's go for a real quick burst of Morse code. And there we go. So it didn't take very long to send that word. And uh, trained operators could send more than one um, uh, character every second. So that's, you know, three seconds to do that. Well, they were even faster than that. How on earth they did it, I don't know even faster than that. Fabulous, let's uh, go on to uh, something a bit more adventurous. So what if we went for this message? Let's go for dot. Now to write it down the page, that's a great way to do it because it keeps everything separate. But if you want to go across the page, when you do your separate letters, use a little um, backslash in order to um, separate them so you know when one letter starts and the next letter begins. So I wonder what this is going to be. Ah, now straight away you spot something, look. That letter there, whatever it is, is the same as that letter there. It's the same sequence. And let's finish off. Now we already know this one, dash, 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 because it was in the Morse code. So you get used to these, um, uh, which letters, the, usually the most common ones, which letters correspond to which combinations of dots and dashes. So let's go for it, look. Let's hear the message first. So here it is here, look. Let's keep, keep the switch still while I do it. So that's the whole message, it's just one word. 
let's try and look for the letters. Dot, 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 four dots, four dots, four dots. Where on earth did that four dots, four dots? Letter H. So we've got ourselves letter H. Single dot, letter E. Letter L, dot, dash, dot, 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 dash, L. We know that letter is the same, same sequence, L. And we know that's the letter O from the SOS message. So there's our very simple single word message hello so why not try and compose your own and now how about this one then how about this i'm going to leave you with a message and the message has got let's see one two three four five words in it let's just check one two yeah five words in it now i'll send you the whole message and you'll be able to replay it on um this video and let's see if you can uh decode the message just by looking along your alphabet sheet for each of these bleeps so i'll put a pause in between each one so that you can um gives you a chance to uh see that one letter starts and the next letter uh, one letter finishes the next letter starts. here we go first letter second letter third letter oh same as the first letter fourth letter then then, 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 then. End of message. So let's see if you can figure out what that one was. And we'll show you uh, what that message was in the next video. I think we'll call that one number two. So we'll call it Morse code number two. This was Morse code number one.